Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my luxury perfume collection. So if you guys want to know what a bad bitch smell like, then just keep on watching. But first, first, okay, smash that subscribe button, okay? And give this video a big thumbs up because th these were expensive, okay? So I'm going to need y'all to give me a big thumbs up just for that. Okay, and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what perfumes you guys love, what perfumes you trying to, you know, put other people on to because I'm definitely trying to put y'all on in this video, okay? I'm not stingy. I'm not stingy with my perfumes, okay? Because what it smells like on me, it's not going to smell like on you. So why are we stingy? I could just let you know. And maybe it'll smell good on you. I don't know, but it ain't going to smell as good as it does on me. <laughs> But yeah, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what videos you guys want to see in the future, okay? Because, you know, your girl, I could use the, all the ideas I could get, okay? All right, so first things first. I think I'm going to start off with the, like, unisex fragrance. And I have two of those. I don't even know if this is unisex. If this isn't unisex, mind your business. So this is the Versace Eros Flame. Okay, flame. Okay, period. Does this cap like not fit or something? Like what the heck? Is it not supposed to go on? Whatever. Whoa, whoa guys, whoa. We started off hot. Okay, this, this, <laughs> this perfume. I don't even know if it's perfume. This fragrance will, whoa. This fragrance will make you lose your breath, okay? Can you keep up? Because it is so, <laughs> it is so strong. <laughs> it is so strong. For me, I love fragrances that are sweet, strong, and bossy, like me, okay, period. <laughs> this fragrance is very, very strong. Like, you, I literally have barely, oh, I gotta use a lot for this fragrance, but I barely used any of it. Like, it is so strong. You literally only need to spray it, like, once, and don't even spray this directly on you. Spray it and then walk into it like they used to do on the movies. Because this thing is strong. Like, I took the cap off and it, like, slapped me in my face, okay? <laughs> this thing, wow, I love that. It's like a, ooh. <laughs> it's just a strong Versace smell. If you know Versace smells, you know this is flame okay that is exactly what arrows flame i don't know what arrows mean but flame yes and red the packaging says it all for this this one is i love it and then i love i it, it might be a male fragrance whatever but the way that it mixes with my body chemistry like it just smells strong and sweet and just like whoa whoa okay powerful this is a powerful scent super powerful this might be i don't know if it's the most powerful one but this one that one just slapped me a little bit, and I like it. <laughs> this is Mason Margiela Replica um, Jazz Club. Okay, it says no fragrance, but like, so what? <laughs> and this one, like, I, it's like, it's gonna sound weird, but like, it kind of like smells like, it reminds me of like a barbershop. I don't know, it, it just has like a hint of like a barbershop-y smell. But like, again, like I said, when it mixes my body chemistry, it adds that sweet note, so it just smells nice and strong let me get something to spray this on oops went the wrong way oh yeah it, it does smell like a barbershop a little bit but it smells like sweet and warm like i don't know what a jazz club smells like but like this smells good i love this one and i love how it mixes with my skin my skin with my body chemistry it's super bomb I'm using a cotton round to smell these because I don't have the little test strips because this is a house. Okay, so next we're going to go on to the clean fragrances that I have, the ones that just give me like a clean, fresh vibe. Okay, so we have Versace Dylan Blue um, Eau de Parfum. Yeah, this one smells like, this one all smells like soap a little bit. This is definitely a clean scent. It's clean, is it? This is just the definition of clean scent. I, that's it. That's it, just clean scent. Super bomb, super long lasting. I only like scents that are long lasting. If it's not long lasting, get that out of here. What in the world? Okay, so next. Is this next? 
don't know. Wait, no, it should be next, y'all. Okay, so next I have Gucci Guilty um, Intense. Okay. And this one is also a clean scent. It's, it's weird. It's like clean. Is it floral? It's clean and... Uh, is it floral? Let me spray this. Just spray a little bit. Yeah, this is just clean and girly and... I don't know if it's floral. If it's floral, I want to know what, what, what flowers smell like that. Cause it smells good. okay. Next, I have two, cause I'm crazy. Two YSL Libre Eau de Parfum, okay. And they are super cute. Love the packaging, but the the knob like kind of like cuts my hand off a little bit. This one, this is also a clean fragrance. Love this. It's like clean and fancy, okay. Gucci Guilty is also clean and fancy, but it's, it's definitely clean and fancy. Clean and rich. Okay. Last in the clean family, I have Mesa Margiela Replica Lipstick On. And I don't really know if I would call this clean, but it, it smells like makeup. Do you guys, do you guys get what I'm saying? It smells like makeup. Like it smells like a like a makeup bag. Like if I put my nose in my makeup bag, I I swear is this this is what it would smell like. Yeah, it smells like lipstick. <laughs> it definitely smells like lipstick. Yeah, it definitely smells like lipstick. I use it um if I'm just running out and I just want to put something on, but it definitely smells like makeup, like lipstick, like yeah, the name is like dead on. <laughs> Okay, so next I'm going to be doing the sweet fragrances, okay? Daisy Love Marc Jacobs, uh, oh so sweet, okay. And it has a little flower on it, and y'all, I'm not gonna lie, this is probably my least favorite perfume. And I don't know why, I don't know why. Yes, I do. It smells like, um, it smells like a grown-up version of Prada Candy. I think. Let me spray it real, real quick, okay? Yeah. Yeah. It smells like a grown up version of Prada Candy or um, Pink Sugar. But definitely sweet. It's definitely a sweet fragrance. It's just like my, my least favorite. Next I have, next I have Tokamaya and just, can we get a second for the packaging? This, this little baby is heavy, like, she is heavy. Ugh, my hands start smelling like the other perfumes. I love this fragrance. This fragrance, let me get one that I don't have on it, is amazing. This, this smells amazing. This is definitely a sweet fragrance. It's sweet, it's spicy, and I just love it. It's infatuating, okay? It's infatuating. I love Tokamaya, one of my go-tos. Amazing, just amazing. And it's so cute, it looks like a little potion, it's cute. Next I have Mason, we're just gonna say Mason, Mason Francis, okay? Period. Y'all know who it is. We have Mason Francis Gentle Fluidity and y'all. <laughs> y'all. Spray this if you want some attention. Okay? Spray this if you want some attention. Whoa. The way this smells. This perfume is going to get you some attention. This perfume is going to turn some hands. Okay? Spray a little bit because you know she is missing. <laughs> whoa wow i love this perfume it is so sweet she smells amazing okay just sweet warm expensive and amazing that's it period next i have victor and wall flower bomb y'all it's empty it's literally barely empty but 
no worries, okay? Because, boom, I got another one, okay? <laughs> Duh, I have to have backups because this is my, my literally, this is my go-to. Victor and Wallflower Bomb, that's what I smell like, period. That's what a bad bitch smells like, okay? And this smell, <laughs> I'm going to just spray the, I'm, did I even put perfume on today? What is wrong with me? I didn't even put any perfume on today. Y'all, this perfume lasts so long. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, this perfume lasts, lasts so long. It is definitely a bomb fragrance. It is so sweet. <laughs> it's so sweet. I hate when I run out of them. But yeah, them. I ran out of multiple flower bombs because I use it so often and so much. But it lasts so long. Like, it lasts on your clothes. I remember the first time I sprayed that spray that i remember the first time i sprayed that perfume and y'all i sprayed it like a little sample in sephora and it was stuck on my hands like under my nail everything my everything the acrylic smelled like flower bomb it is such an amazing scent i love the scent so much it's warm bossy and just amazing hands down amazing Ooh, i love that smell <laughs> I also have Flower Bomb Nectar by Victor and Rolf also. And this one is so sweet. This might be my sweetest fragrance. It's just warm and sweet and just welcoming. Okay? It just smells amazing. Love that. Last but not least, I have my... I don't even know what to call these little babies. These are my bossy, expensive baby smells. Okay? And first things first, um, I think I will start off with Black Opium, YSL. Should I say YSL Black Opium? Yeah, YSL Black Opium. Ooh, and she is mature, okay? This is definitely a mature fragrance. She just, she just smelled grown up and bossy and warm and spicy. She smelled good. She smelled good. Next, I have Giorgio Ormani C. And I only have a little baby. I want to get a big one, but the little baby is so cute. That's why I have her. And she's like a like a date night type of perfume. Like she smells good. Let me spray it in the cap. Yeah. She smells good. Nice, spicy, warm, bossy fragrance. My faves. So next I have Chanel Coco Mademoiselle. Okay. And y'all, this is my favorite. This is my favorite. I love this is my go-to going out perfume, but like she's huge. And I got a backup, okay? So she's definitely runner up to Victor and Roll Flower Bomb. This one, I love this perfume so much. It just makes me feel so grown up and beautiful. <laughs> okay, I just love it. It just makes me smell like money. <laughs> It smells like money, okay? She smells amazing. And when I go out and I wear this, I always have a good time. So that's it on that. That's that on that, period. And I love this so much that I had to get the Coco Noir uh, by Chanel. Also, she's cute. She's more intense, I feel like. I feel like this is the intense version. Or is this the intense version? Oh, no, this is intense. This is intense. This is intense itself. I don't know what Coco Mademoiselle regular smells like, but I have the intense fragrance. Both of them are intense? Both of them are intense. Okay. So what's this one? Ooh, this one, she a boss too. Okay, period. She smells amazing. Next, I have Tom Ford Soleil Blanc. Okay, and she is so cute. I love her. Ooh. She smells bossy but sweet. She's she's the borderline between the bossy and the sweet uh, fragrances. She smells amazing. Love her. So cute. And I also have Tom Ford fucking fabulous. Okay, period. <laughs> That's that. That's it. That that title says it all, okay? This is ooh. Ooh. Girl. Ooh. This one right here. She does not come to play, okay? She smells crazy. She is warm, spicy, bossy, and a little bit woodsy too, okay? That one, whew, she's all of the above, okay? Because she is fabulous. 
Okay, so next I have Mason uh, Francis Baccarat Rouge 540. Okay. A perfume collection is not complete, y'all, without Baccarat 540. If you don't have Baccarat 540, go get it. Go get it. Oh, y'all. I don't even want to spray her because she is so expensive. <laughs> she is so expensive, but I will do it for y'all. So give this video a big thumbs up now. I wish I could spray this on right now. Maybe I should have put this one on today. Oh, just a little bit now. Just a little bit. Woo! Y'all, this fragrance is intoxicating. Like, this one, this one will break people's necks. Okay, they will break their necks to ask you what you wear. Okay, they, you will walk by and several people's necks will be broken. Okay, just off of your fragrance alone. And it smells so good. <laughs> and it's so expensive that I had to get the body oil in the same fragrance because, you know... Maybe I could save this one a little bit and use this one sometimes. But they both smell so good. And and the body oil was like a little bit moisturizing too. Not that I would use it as a moisturizer because, like I said, it's expensive. But she is amazing. Okay? Why is my necklace so twisted up? Dang. And last but not least, the big dog. Okay? Mason Francis Baccarat Rouge 540 Extrait Day Parfum. Not... Oh, not oh, y'all. This is not the eau de parfum. This is the extract de parfum. I don't even know what extract means. But this, this right here is my sweat. Y'all, whoa. <laughs> okay, this right here is the intense version of Baccarat Rouge 540 and it smells amazing. This thing, if you have to pick between the regular and the intense, I'm always say go with the intense. <laughs> I'm going to always say go with the intense one because I am an intense person. Okay? And I love intense fragrances because I need to match my fragrance with my mood, my attitude, my personality. <laughs> okay? So this one right here. Ooh. Just, ooh. Just warm me up on the inside. Okay? This smells amazing. I wore this on New Year's and I swear, every time I wear this perfume, it smells different on me. Like, that's why I love it. But it always smells amazing. It never stinks. When I wore it on New Year's, it smells a little bit more woodsy than it does today. Today, it just smells like sweet and lovely and, you know, it's giving me butterflies in my stomach. This perfume is definitely near and dear to my heart. This might be the biggest. This might be the most powerful one. I don't know if it's most powerful, but this one is definitely one of my favorites. My favorites... Okay, so let's go to my favorites. My favorites are Flower Bomb, Flower Bomb Nectar, you know, her sister, okay? Gentle Fluidity, Black Rock Rouge 540, oh, in my face, and Coco uh, Mademoiselle Chanel Paris. Definitely my favorites. Oh, and honorable mention, Tokamaya. Okay, and Soldi Blank. Okay, those are my favorites, uh, hands down, and I'm sticking to it. This is my story, and I'm sticking with it, and I'm sticking to it. Okay, period. Those are my favorite fragrances. If you guys love this video, I'm not even going to say like, because I know you guys love this video. If you guys like this video, then don't forget to give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, uh, and comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next, and yeah, that's it. Bye, guys.